Yo, hello everyone and welcome back again to a brand new video. Do you need to connect your Squarespace domain to Google Sites? In this video, we will show you how to seamlessly link your Squarespace domain to your Google Sites in serving a smooth setup. So guys, let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you can have the full experience. So the first thing guys that I will need you to do is to actually purchase and get a domain name in Squarespace. Now to get a domain as you can see you have to go to the homepage of squarespace.com then go to products and click on find a domain as you can see right here. Right after I clicked here, start your domain name search here. So let's search for a domain name. For example, I'm gonna write, you can write here uh, a brand name, um, your name, whatever thing you would like to have it as a URL or a domain name for your website on, uh, on Google Sites. So here what I'm gonna do is to write your domain and let's check if we could find something like that. Okay, we have this one, your domain.com, closest mass. It's gonna be costing us $12 per year. So you could find several types of domains here .org, .com, .net, .xyz, uh, .club, me, etc., etc., with several prices. Now, guys, what I would recommend you to do in case you didn't buy a domain yet is to guy in is to go and buy it I mean from another providers or from real providers of domains such as uh, GoDaddy and Namecheap they have very good deals so we can check the same website plans and as you may notice right here the prices are gonna be pretty different so here as you can see that online is only 0.99 cents for the first year and if we try to look for it here it doesn't really exist anymore um, yep it is not even here let me just write it directly so dot online and as you can see this is the exact match and it is for $20 so you're gonna save literally $19 just by getting it from another uh, provider now the thing is the price of go that is gonna be uh, going up the second year so make sure to get it for the first year here and then you can buy it in the second year from Squarespace domains now after you buy it you can click on go to checkout and click right there then you have to go through the filling uh, filling process of these forms so you will have some registration like some information that you have to fill and then you have to go next part where you have to put your own credentials or your own card credentials now once you are done with this step you have to go to google sites so let's go there real quick and from this area guys what you will need to do is pretty simple open your Google Sites dashboard and open your site that you want to link this domain that we just bought to it so here you will find your list of the websites so just click on whatever website you would like it to be linked to your domain for example I have this one and we would have like several ones so let's connect for example to this one now right after you open your website you will have it like that with the dashboard with the editing with the menus and so much more now what you'll have to do next is to simply go ahead and click on settings right after that click on custom domains and let me just uh, remove that real quick so we don't have any problems okay that's perfect so let me just remove it from there and the first thing that you have to do is to actually add a custom domain after that click on startup and paste that domain that you want to add right here so after I did that I'm simply gonna click on next and as you can see this is not the process that they are going to give you let me just go back to my domain so normally I have a domain on Namecheap so you just have to follow the same steps on uh, like uh, Squarespace so I'm just gonna delete every single thing that I have here. Uh, um, there we go. Let me just edit block. 
remove. Um, let me just write this. Okay, remove. Yes, add. Watch will happen. I should click on next. And let me just set up more. Let's go. Okay, done. And yeah, it shouldn't be added. Let me just wait more because I have removed everything from here. So it should like refresh the page and make sure that nothing is in here. So it doesn't really direct them to your website. So there we go. Normally, if the process was good, it should be something like that. Now, after that, you have to copy these and put them as records in your website. So here we have the records. So what I'm going to do is to go to add a new record. And this record is supposed to be named CNAME. So let's go see CNAME and go to host and let's pass that to the host. After that, go here, copy this. And do not miss the point. The point is very important, guys. So if you missed it, it might cause some problems. And once you feel like you're done, click on done, and your website should be added. So now we have connected domains. And simply now, what you'll have to do is to go right here. And as you can see, publish your settings and make sure to change it to the specific domain. So this site is also viewable at www the domain that we have chosen so you can literally now open it and we will find it as you can see right here so this is our domain and we have now officially connected it with our site so everything now is pretty perfect nothing is wrong with it um, we will not face any problems now uh, everything is gonna be good uh, domain here it is um, it has HTTPS with it so it has an SSO code or SSO, SSO certificate with it so the website is still secured and nothing is wrong with it which makes it perfect and much more confidential for users to actually join now since you've done that you simply have to close everything else and enjoy your day so it's pretty easy guys the same steps that i showed you on nameship you just have to duplicate it on squarespace so you just have to simply go to manage dns and simply paste the records that were given to you by google sites now these c names are not gonna be the same that i have so the c names that i had are gonna be totally different than what you got guys so make sure that you're not copying copying them from my screen but uh, copying them from what the pop-ups gives you on your site so as I said manage DNS copy the DNS which is gonna be the records of the C name and then the actual uh, the host uh, name and then the the direction paste them save all and you are good to go so yeah guys that was basically it for today's video if you did enjoy it make sure to leave a like and to subscribe to our channel thank you guys a lot and see you guys in the next tutorial